Hello, David. I wanted to show you your sound box. That's the dual compatible. And I've got it hooked up to a Next ADB multi-language keyboard to throw a curveball at it. There's our ADB mouse. Then if we go up here, I'll show you where it'll register the ADB devices. I also am using the uh, my custom cable. You center that at the CPU. Okay, so here goes the boot process. And then it'll go ahead and go through this and then kick over. Most of the time we don't see this. This is just a, I've got to do a fresh copy. Okay, so we see ADB device 2 and 3. So when you see it register two devices, that's a good sign that both your keyboard and mouse are registered. And then uh, goes through the best rest of the boot script. And then to make sure that it's working, it did make that sound noise too, which is good. So we know the sound box is working. And the sound of the sound box is working with ADB. And so it goes through the rest of the boot process. Uh, it's complete. It'll bring up our mouse. And at this point, you should see your mouse work. Okay. And then you can highlight in the panel, and then I just type in a bunch of stuff. And it looks like it's working fine. And then I press the enter key. So that all works. Try it again. Press enter, enter. Yep. So I'm not sure what was happening there, but this is the cable and sound box that you sent me. And I'll test it with non-ADB as well, but I'm assuming it's going to work just fine. So, with that being said, I think the issue may be that you're using an Apple ADB keyboard and mouse that are not compatible with the next ADB protocol. And that may be possible, because I'm not sure what the differences are, but it seems to work fine with the next ADB peripherals. I know that some Apple ADB peripherals do work, and I'm not sure which ones do not. So that being said, um, I'll uh, drop you an email, and then I'll upload this video so you can see it. Thank you. Appreciate your business, and have a good day.